Well, elsewhere today, the FDA rolled back some emergency exceptions put in place concerning those N95 masks. When COVID cases were climbing last year, the government allowed hospitals to ration and reuse those masks amid a worldwide shortage of personal protective equipment. Well, now U.S. manufacturers say they have a huge surplus of N95s, so the FDA is relaxing that emergency exception. Throughout the pandemic, doctors and nurses were frequently given one N95 mask per week when they're designed to be discarded and replaced after each patient. Well, that change reflecting a similar trend across the country as vaccinations rise and COVID infections drop, leading many to question when the safety precautions that have become really a part of our daily lives, like masks and social distancing, will start to be lifted. And News Nation correspondent Janelle Fort is live. And Janelle, the CDC is weighing the changes in certain cases. Well, Nicole, the CDC is looking specifically at wearing masks outdoors right now. The agency's guidance reads, quote, masks may not be necessary when you are outside by yourself, away from others or with people who live in your household. And now there's an increasing number of calls to loosen those rules even more. Throughout the pandemic, we've seen a handful of amendments to CDC's guidelines on face coverings. First, we're told don't wear a mask. Then we're told wear a mask. Then um, we ran into the issue of whether or not we should double mask or not. The back and forth confusing and polarizing Americans, something Dr. Cecil Bennett deals with every day in his Georgia private practice. His patients asking, when are we finally safe to take the mask off? CDC always errs on the side of extreme caution. He's one of a growing number of physicians and health experts urging the agency to do away with its outdoor mask guidance. If you look at the data worldwide, it's been pretty clear that the risk of getting COVID or transmitting COVID when you're outside and fully vaccinated is very, very remote. With 84 million Americans and growing vaccinated, states starting to lift the mandates themselves. Most recently, New Hampshire, and now New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio hinting at following suit. We're going to have to keep mask and restrictions in place until we're 100% sure we're out of the woods. And the best way to know we're out of the woods is to see those vaccination numbers go up and up and up. So a handful. Bennett says letting vaccinated people go maskless outdoors could speed up the quest for herd immunity. You have people who I motivate to get vaccinated. They get, they get vaccinated, they still have to follow all the same guidelines, right? They try to tell their friends and family members, I think you should get vaccinated as well. And the friends say, you know something, I'll just wait and see. I mean, why get vaccinated if, I, if, if you're doing the same thing you were doing before? Well, there's health professionals and politicians, including Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker, who say it is still too soon to take off our mask outdoors. Nicole. All right, Janelle Fort reporting live tonight. Thank you.